Well, the Secret Service says it has ended its investigation into how a bag of cocaine wound up in the White House and still doesn't know who did it. Several Republicans skeptical the agency had done all it could do to figure out this mystery. Fox's Caroline Shively reports from Washington. The investigation of the cocaine cubby at the White House is over. The Secret Service says it has closed the investigation due to a lack of physical evidence. Agents found a suspicious-looking baggie in a well-trafficked area of the West Wing on July 2nd in a routine sweep. A Homeland Security lab tested the white powder, which turned out to be cocaine. But the FBI analyzed the bag for DNA and fingerprints and got nothing. The Secret Service briefed members of the House Oversight and Homeland Security Committees on Thursday. Democrats seemed to get the answers they were seeking. I'm satisfied it's a thorough investigation. Republicans, however. You better damn well believe that if they wanted to go figure out where that cocaine came from, the Secret Service of the United States in the White House of the United States could figure it out. There are surveillance cameras in that area of the White House, but officials say they don't point toward the cubbies in question, which are a spot where visitors can leave their belongings before taking a tour. Somebody needs to look at the procedures protecting the White House from top to bottom. Somebody needs to be fired because somebody allowed cocaine to get into the White House. According to House members who were briefed, agents said they had a list of 500 people who were in that area but have no plans to pursue them. In Washington, Caroline Shively for Good Day.